And we've got the little men in. Hello, little fellas. Always like a good pilot and crew. And these are uh, pretty good ones. Uh, drop tanks. They've got to be drop tanks, haven't they? I don't know what else they'd be. <laughs> um, I've made them a little manky in surface colour because they'd obviously go through a lot, just getting transported to where they need to be and then fitted and all of that. So they'll be sitting around getting a little bit of surface damage. And I just did it um, by not shaking the can of spray up particularly well. And it's come out pretty much the way I want it. Um, what's really annoying is we've got a bit of sun today. It's the first time in about a week. And you couldn't see the seam lines. Now the sun's out, you can. That's a nuisance. I'm, I'm, I've got to stop myself from cleaning that kind of thing up. This is supposed to be how the model comes out of the box with a bit of weathering. And I've been doing some. Um, some of the smaller detailed markings have disappeared under weathering, but I guess that, that would appear to be the case. That's, I'm sure they'd get a clean up every time it landed, but they'd soon go. Um, or certainly from the photographic evidence they seem to go. Uh, so there's that. That weathering needs a little tidying up. So I'll glue these on. A uh, couple of little spikes under here. One on each side. And uh, oh, propellers! <laughs> yeah, get the propellers on. And then finally, get the glassware on. And there we are. Done. Everything's on. Uh no it isn't. Right, get that on then. Well the first thing to say is, if we ever get better weather again, I think I'll bring this out and get some more shots. But right now, it is absolutely dismal. So here we are, just to get an idea of the fantastic Black Widow aircraft. Oh. <laughs> Black silhouetted against the dull sky. Fantastic. Uh, this really isn't doing it justice, is it? Anyway, as models go, um, it is a little bit old, it's showing its age, you'd expect that wouldn't you? And uh, as usual with the oldies, it's the canopies that are the problem. They just don't want to sit on the body of the model. Um, they don't work flush at all. That didn't make a lot of sense, did it? They don't work flush. But you know what I mean. They don't sit flush against the body of the model. So the canopies rock and you have to make a choice. Uh, I've, I did sand some of them down, which goes against my principles, and I trimmed some of the... Uh, you can see light coming through. There you go. At the bottom of the um, canopy. And I did tri uh, smarten up some of the edges of the sort of fuselage itself but still they just won't fit there's a little bit of a sense of them being slightly warped as is often the case so there we go the engines getting the engines into the cowlings was a miserable task I think I've got there I think uh, I, don't, I keep mucking about I think the propellers are in parallel should have held the tail for that but I've just got a creeping feeling they're not now. <laughs> it's just one of those residual things, like a bad smell that won't leave your nose long after it's gone. So, uh, apart from that, it was great fun. Absolutely brilliant. I highly, highly recommend anybody, if you haven't made this, go out and get it and make it. If you have made it, go out and get it again. Fantastic stuff and an incredible aircraft. Mm. 
This is just terrible, isn't it? Old man waving a toy airplane around on a miserable day. Gordon Bennett, try again. Tragically, I've had to resort to this because there's no light outside. So anyway, here we are with the Black Widow. Uh, a fine aircraft. It's very interesting. It was designed as a night fighter. Um, and that is a tough task, particularly uh, getting home and landing. <laughs> you can often run out of fuel uh, and uh, unexpectedly, so to speak. You think you've got enough and you don't get there. Um, and I read a couple of days ago, I was looking this up, and you had these drop tanks added much later on. Um, which is, you know, it's a shame for the guys who are struggling to get home. But they look they look mighty. Adds a real bit of style to the aircraft, I have to say. And also, uh, this model gives you, um, in the different version, you get bombs in the same location as the drop tanks. And uh, they were a later addition too. So this really was specifically a night fighter. So, very interesting. Another thing that comes up is uh, it's sort of competing against other aircraft. Let's change position. These aircraft are sort of out and running by about 1943 and um, by the time they'd got to Europe they'd got a serious problem because the Germans were uh, successfully putting jet aircraft and even rockets and stuff into the air and they had trouble keeping up with that kind of thing. Um, we really are looking at obviously the end of the war is a totally different world. So jets and rockets out there. One of these had a, well a lot of them had a fight against V1s but I think the first one, I'll just check this, I think the first one to take on a V1 the rear cone imploded. Make of that what you will. I'm just glancing over my shoulder. Yes. So that's a weird situation. Uh, all to do with pressure. What a situation to find yourself in. Terrible. But against your average propeller driven aircraft it could make mincemeat out of them. And it was absolutely loaded with guns and cannon, which, uh, which is what you want out of a fighter really, isn't it? I would love to see any old aircraft in flight uh, easily satisfied, you might say, but I would. But I have to say, this is high on the list. It's an extraordinarily um, tough, rather frightening looking aircraft. I always think the visuals of aircraft and tanks are a little underestimated. But if you came upon one of these, uh, I think you'd you'd leg it basically. Get out of here. These look like real beasts. So uh, yeah, great admirer of this aircraft. I'm going to read this bit. I was just having a quick look to see what it says on Wikipedia. Not a big fan of Wikipedia, but anyway, I'll read this little bit out in full. On the 30th of January 1945, a lone P-61 performed a mission as part of the successful raid carried out by US Army Rangers to free over 500 Allied prisoners of war held by the Japanese ooh, at Can uh, sorry again, Cabanatal Prison Camp in the Philippines. As the rangers crept up on the camp, a P-61, a single one that is, swooped low and performed aerobatics for several minutes. The distraction of the guards allowed the rangers to position themselves undetected within striking range of the camp. How about that? You don't get that very often. You see, visually stunning aircraft, very important. 
and finally is it a good kit? Of course it is. There's always a few little bumps and uh, tweaks along the way. And is it an Airfix Classic? Absolutely. Should you go out and buy it? Definitely. Go on. Enjoy yourself. It is a simple, on the whole, simple, straightforward, thoroughly enjoyable piece of model design. And yes, I've weathered it to within an inch of its life because these things are often pushed like mad, particularly at the end of the Second World War when they really were pushing to get the, the nasty situation over and done with. So yeah, I've brought that in. There's a lot of photographs of them and they are terribly, terribly weathered. And yes, I've cut out and I will be keeping the box art. Uh, somebody, I think it's Joe Schmo, said on the um, Lost in Space one, what great classic box art it is. Cut it out and keep it. And I, that's what I'm doing with a lot of the box art. Joe, you got it right again. That man must live in my head. And uh, this is one of them. I'm going to show you this corner because... Uh, m m what's his name? Mini Meltdown. Uh, chewed the corner. He wanted to play with it. We were doing stuff, bought this, went to a little cafe, because we could do that a few weeks ago. And he wanted to play with the box because it rattled and crashed. And then he started biting that. And the significance is that it's the first time we ever said no to him. How about that? Monumental stuff. Anyway, great box art. Keep it.